In today's video, I will install Open Media Vault 6 and Portainer on a Raspberry Pi 02W. Coupled with a Pi Sugar S battery, adding mobility to the project. I will be using a 128GB microSD card for both software and storage. Open Media Vault consumes at least 4 gigs of storage space. So the rest of the 128 gigs will be used as actual storage. 120 gigs is not a lot but, my intention is to have it back up on my main network storage on a bi-weekly if not on a daily basis. Or I can easily add an external USB drive for additional storage. I took this route mainly to maintain the small form factor of the project. I do not recommend or intend for this to be used as my daily driver. This exercise is meant to show what is possible and hopefully inspire others to create other projects based on this. I begin with putting together the Pi Sugar and the Raspberry Pi. I also used a Pi case with passive cooling to save energy. Having a battery has two purposes. Aside from giving the NAS mobility it also acts as a UPS when the battery is charging. Another benefit of having Pi Sugar installed is that it has a switch I can use to power the Raspberry Pi on or off. When assembling them together, make sure the pogo pins on the Pi Sugar align with the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. I will be using the screws from the Pi case since it is longer, going from the bottom. The bottom part of the case I will not use and will instead be replaced by the Pi Sugar board and battery. Do not over tighten the screws as they can easily strip. Things I will need for this project. The Raspberry Pi 02W with the battery installed. Any USB to Ethernet adapter, just in case the Wi-Fi settings will get overwritten when we install Open Media Vault. A USB A to micro USB adapter. And for additional storage, a thumb drive or external SSD. Just in case you are on location somewhere and really need the storage. But the pocket NAS should be good even without them. To begin, install Raspberry Pi OS Lite 64 using Raspberry Pi Imager. Insert it into the Raspberry Pi and boot. Once I find the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, I can run the script from omvextras.org to install Open Media Vault 6. Links in the description below. Once installation is complete, log into Open Media Vault. If you are unable to log in or unable to find the Raspberry Pi you may have lost your Wi-Fi settings. Use the Ethernet adapter to log in at this point, then change the network interface on Open Media Vault. You can also update the Wi-Fi settings using Raspi Config. Go to Network, then Interfaces. Select Wi-Fi and update the settings accordingly. Select WLAN 0 under Device, and enter the Wi-Fi SSID and password. The Wi-Fi can be your home, office, or even your phone's hotspot. One of the benefits of being able to take your NAS with you.
Take this time to go over the system settings and adjust them according to your preference. Only enable the plugins that you intend on using or would be applicable for your system. This is a small and lightweight system so we don't want to have anything running unnecessarily. I am making sure that backup, rsync, and USB backup are enabled. I do not want to be saving any of my data on the pocket NAS and have no way of backing them up. There are tons of other videos available explaining what each of these plugins are for, unfortunately, that is too much to cover for this video. Since we only have a small amount of storage, I am making sure that the USB backup plugin is installed. Another thing I am just now realizing is I do not have a proper case to protect the pocket NAS. Most likely, I will need a custom 3D printed case for this. Now I am setting up the file systems and shared folders. Right now, I am only setting up storage space that is on the micro SD card. If additional storage is required using the USB, you would be following the same procedures, mounting the disk, creating file systems and sharing folders. To create a shared folder, click on the create button. Enter the name of the folder you want to create. Then select the file system you wish to create it under. On the pocket NAS there is only one file system. Then click save. And apply configuration changes. Installing Portainer in Docker would be the same as you would with any other Open Media Vault install. Links to my other videos showing this should be on the upper right corner. After Docker and Portainer is installed, any other container you require will follow the same steps. In a future video, I will install Long Cache on this server. I hope you found value or at least enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.